Over the last 89 years, the American Sugarcane League has been representing not only the farmers who grow sugarcane here in Louisiana, but also supporting those who work on the laboratory side of the cane industry. Supporting research projects that help sugar farmers be more productive has been an integral part of the overall health of Louisiana's $1.8 billion a year sugar industry. In the final installment of her series on sugar research, this week in Louisiana agriculture's Kristen Oaks shows us how growers, researchers, and the league all come together to continue a tradition that started more than 250 years ago. This cane, what, what variety is this? Uh, this is uh, 283, first year stubble. When Jim Simon and Mark Ingeman talk sugar, they do so from both sides of the turn row. A little bit of that, but not too bad in here. No, no, it, uh, it looks good. Ingeman, who serves on the board of the American Sugarcane League, is also a sugar grower. Here in Maringuin, Ingeman plans to take about 2,300 of his 3,000 acres of cane to the mill this year. It's been a good harvest so far, but one Ingeman knows wouldn't be so good without research into cane varieties that keep his farm competitive. It takes so long to develop a variety, uh, you know, I've been, I'm told 13 to 15 years, and uh, you know, we don't want to let years pass by with, with uh, poor research or very little uh, because we'll pay for it down the road. Somebody will in our, in our families. Well, we can compete as long as the playing field's level. As executive director of the American Sugarcane League, Jim Simo often finds himself out visiting with growers this time of year. It's a chance for him to see the crop up close and meet face to face with the growers his organization represents. Uh, the average size of one of our growers is about a thousand acres, about 450,000 acres in production in cane. Uh, so it's, it's a great mix of processing and uh, production that come together uh, for common interest. But there was a time when the Louisiana sugarcane industry wasn't on the solid footing it is today. Formed in 1922, the American Sugarcane League was created to save an industry whose crop was riddled with diseases, an organization that would unite farmers, researchers, and sugar mill owners for the next 89 years. Our mission is to sustain success through effective uh, research and lobbying activities and legislative activities and promotion education, uh, but the majority of our resources are spent on research activities, both uh, in the field, which is where the majority of the research goes, and then some uh, processing research in addition to that. As the sugar industry's leading advocate, the American Sugar Cane League knows all too well how important research is to the future of the Louisiana sugar cane economy. That's why the organization is considering a plan to expand its due structure with those additional revenues being dedicated solely to research. So we're trying to figure out ways to pick up more of the burden and we're entertaining uh, ways to, uh, to get our membership to, to fund a little bit more, uh, not only our growers and millers, but landlords and, and uh, owners of farmland that certainly have an interest in what we do. Both Simon and Ingeman know the future of the industry depends on research. Research that often takes decades to travel from the microscope to the mill. Ingeman, whose son Patrick will likely take over the farm someday, knows that he probably won't see those new varieties, but that doesn't make their development any less important. I think most, most sugar farmers in South Louisiana have children that, that want to farm and, and want to keep, uh, keep the farm profitable. And what research is going on today, I probably won't even see that variety, uh, but my son probably will. In Maringuin, I'm Kristen Oaks for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture.